Well, many are hoping a new multi-million dollar project shows a commitment to a community that's been overlooked for years. The ribbon was cut for the Mosaic Village on West Trade Street today. And as eyewitness news anchor Tanika Smith shows us, one man involved was choked up as he spoke about its progress. <laughs> was an upbeat and at times emotional celebration on West Trade Street today. Our vision of Mosaic Village has surely come. As JCSU President Ronald Carter cut the ribbon and opened the doors of Mosaic Village, the $25 million project includes 80 apartments and retail space. We spoke to two students moving in today. It's a big thing around Charlotte, so we're all excited to move in. I think it's good because some people have a misconception about where the school is, and they say, oh, it's in the ghetto part. But it looks nice coming down the street. Different buildings bringing a new energy to the northwest corridor of Charlotte. The city leaders and residents say has been neglected over the years. If you were to take a picture of West Trade Street, Bates Fort Road in 1981 when I was a freshman at Johnson C. Smith and compared it to 2008, a lot hadn't changed except that the businesses that were open in 1981 were closed in 2008. And it was four years ago, special Certainly, assistant to JCSU's president, Senator this. Malcolm Graham, well, was appointed to lead the West Trade Street Task Force. Sorry. In that time, the group has initiated several projects, including cleanup campaigns, a bike share program, bringing the Gold Rush shuttle to the campus community, and building a new arts facility. And it's not about... Mayor Anthony Fox grew up in West Charlotte and says the work must continue. You've been paying taxes to build other parts of our city. It's time to pay taxes so that we can build this part of our city. In West Charlotte, Tanika Smith, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now, Mosaic Village was paid for through a public-private partnership between JCSU, the Griffin family of Griffin Brothers Tires, and the city of Charlotte.